problems on universal law of gravitation. Most of the problems on this will be based on the planets and big values we will encounter. Problem 1. Calculate the force of gravitation due to earth on a ball of 1 kg mass lying on the ground. Mass of earth is given, radius of earth is given and the gravitational constant is given. So let us see how we calculate this in which given things are mass of earth which is 6 into 20 to the power 24 kg and radius of earth which is 6.4 into 10 cube kilometer and we need to convert this into meter since everything should be in terms of meter 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter since 1 kilometer is equal to 10 cube meter or 1000 meter and the universal gravitational constant g is given as 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square kg minus 2. Now we can calculate this from universal law of gravitation formula. The force is equal to gravitational force is g into product of masses m into m by r square. And we also know the mass of the object which is small m mass of the object is 1 kg. So which is lying on the ground. So substituting the values we get bring all the integer ones on one side and all the exponential ones on the other side minus 11 plus 24 and here it is 12 so when it goes up it becomes minus. So this gives rise to a value of 9.8 newtons. So the gravitational force of earth on 1 kg of a ball is 9.8 newtons. So this is proved mathematically and we proved it experimentally that gravitational force of earth on a 1 kg mass is 9.8 newtons. That is why we say the weight of 1 kg mass as 9.8 newtons. Let's see problem 2. Calculate the force of gravitation between the earth and the sun given that the mass of earth 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg and of the sun 2 into 10 to the power 30 kg. The average distance between the two is 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meters. Now we know gravitational force F is equal to G into product of masses by R square. R is the distance between the two. Substituting the values where we know G to be 6.673 but we can take it as 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square kg minus 2 into the mass of the earth and mass of the sun. So let's say this is mass of the sun, this is mass of the earth. So mass of the sun is 2 into 10 to the power 30 and mass of the earth is 6 into 10 to the power 24 divided by r square. r is given as 1.5 into 10 to the power 11. So into 10 to the power 11 whole square. So on calculating this we get 6.7 into 6 to 12 divided by 1.5 whole square to all the 10 to the powers if you take it one side plus 30 plus 24 and minus 11 to 20. So this gives us 35.589 when we calculate 10 to the power 21 Newton. So this can be written as 3.5. 5.6 into 10 to the power 22 Newton. Remember that always the gravitational force when we are measuring in this high values, we always take it as a single integer value. So everything will go into the decimals and put it for the 10 powers. So the gravitational force 
between the earth and the sun is 3.56 into 10 to the power 22 Newton, which is extremely high force, which is keeping the earth in its orbit around the sun.